Look at my room right now. Let's get into it. Hey. My favorite jacket ever. Ah. Forget it. That really hurt. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, what's up? Welcome. So, I have the master bedroom in my house, fortunately, but unfortunately it comes with a big closet which means I have no self-control and that means that my closet is fucking full. So, today we're going to be going through it, deciding what we want to keep, what we want to donate. So yeah, just take a look at my closet. I know, it's, it's, it's absolutely disgusting um we're gonna get through it together so don't even worry about it girl okay let's get right on with the video so i can't even i can't even i can't even open the door all the way because it's just absolutely fucking full <laughs> so this is what my closet currently looks like um it's not color coordinated it is not i'm getting hot just even looking at it because i know this is gonna be a lot of work so we're just gonna get right on to it. Let's get into it. Alright. My thought process right now is to basically remove everything off of the floor. That way I can fucking walk through my closet because I cannot walk through. Look, this, this is how much I can walk through. Bruh. I took like three steps. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm gonna be going through the top section of my closet first and then I'm gonna be taking out um, things in categories so like for example jackets tank tops long sleeves short sleeves um, and stuff like that so I think that's a good game plan for right now I'm like worried that I'm gonna I'm gonna start all of this and then I'm not gonna finish it and then everything's gonna be a mess in my room but no I am determined to finish this shit, alright? So, let's get into it! Hey. I am done with all of my jackets, my flannels, and like crewnecks. So now I'm going to be removing all of my tank tops. And then, after my tank tops, I'm going to be removing all of my hangers. Anyone else know Kaylin and Miles like back in like six years ago? Cause I have Miles merch that I forgot about and I have Kaylin and Miles merch. This shit costs like 40 bucks and then I remember when they broke up or they didn't break up but like they split up and everything was like 50% off, 70% off. I was so fucking mad that they fucking broke up. I literally cried, I was upset. Now, this is the fun part. I'm gonna go through every single piece that was on this top row and i'm gonna decide what i want to keep what i want to donate and what i'm going to give away to like my cousin or something so yeah this is gonna be interesting and i'm gonna try on the stuff that i forgot i even had because i was looking at some pieces and i'm like dude when did i order this like i don't remember having this at all okay This one I actually bought off some girl that like was selling her clothes and it's super cute But the thing is I feel like my mom wouldn't even let me wear this out So that's why I just have it in my closet for any sort of special occasion Which I'm going to Disney hopefully fingers crossed uh, Corona doesn't shut everything down again I'm going to Disney for my birthday in April so I might wear this This is hella cute it's just showing some cleavage that I don't have But I don't know I think it's super cute I'm not really sure how I feel about the one shoulder trend. I got this again. I think it was from the same girl. And then I put it on. I just feel like my body's built weird. So it just looks weird on me. I think I'm gonna sell this or something. Same thing with this. I feel like my mom would never let me wear this. But when I tried it on, this is from Garage. I got it at um, the mall. Um, this is so fucking cute. Dude, and I have itty bitties, so it any like this type of shit looks cute on me, but I know my mom's gonna be like, bitch, what the fuck are you wearing? But I'ma still keep it because I know I'm gonna wear it one day. I used to have a really bad pink phase when I was like in seventh or eighth grade, and I remember like every day for a week straight, I would wear a new 
pink like zip up and then bitches would be like god damn girl you're like you rich girl i'm like but looking back i'm like bro all that money for what like i don't even wear this shit no more oh i feel so bad for my parents who had to go through that <laughs> Okay, so I just finished organizing like everything. I actually put the, the things that I don't think I'm ever going to wear again in a big bag. And I decided to give that to my cousin. Please ignore my laundry. I'm going to do that today. I swear to God. Okay, anyway, here I have my long sleeves and stuff like that. Over here I have my dresses, some crewnecks, a flannel. And then over here I have all of my jackets and my cardigans. So now I'm just going to... Y'all! Stop it! Anyway, look at my badass kids, bro. Oh my god, look at my room right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to color coordinate everything. Um, whether it's like long sleeves, short sleeves, sweaters, whatever. I'm going to color coordinate it up here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I'm gonna have to do the same thing with that. But I'm probably gonna do it another time. I don't know. We'll see how I feel after doing all of that because I'm not trying to have a big ass mess and just leave it like that because I give up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to color coordinate. It's going to be super satisfying. So stay tuned. ass shirt at Zoffel and I haven't been able to wear it and same with this shirt right here um yes the hanger does match with the shirt and I purposely did this mm -hmm. 